Hey guys, Libby here um, and my lovely student, Rachel. I am here to guide all of you at home through a 45 minute Sculpt Express class. Um, I'm so excited to be here with you and help get through these times together. So on your mat today, dedicate your practice to whatever you need that's different for all of us. So take it and run with it. We'll get started in a seated position. Just make your way to your mat. You can grab whatever is available to you for your class if that's just body weight um, or laundry. Uh, what is it called? Laundry jugs um, of detergent, uh, cans of soup, whatever you have available. Once you have that, come to your mat, find a seated position. And just notice your breath. Maybe take your eyes soft or all the way close. Feel grounded through your sits bones as you exhale. As you inhale, fill up with your intention, what you need today on your mat. Exhale, let it go. As you inhale, take your hands to your knees. Feel the connection between your body, your mind, and your breath. As you inhale, draw your stomach forward toward the top of your space. Exhale, seated cat pose, press through your spine toward the back of the mat. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Take a few more rounds here. You might take some neck drops from side to side. And although we're here for a sweaty workout, know that if you ever need to back off, you can come back to this place. Two more rounds here, even yourself out. On your next inhale, come to a seated position and then flip your legs over like a mermaid at fine tabletop pose and then downward facing dog. Flip your toes, press equally through your palms at the top of the mat. Spread your fingers wide like starfish. Maybe some of your intentions are to imagine you are on your vacation you were supposed to be on. Turn your triceps inward like you were opening the biggest jar of pickles you've ever gotten in your life. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose, breathe. Step or hop to the top of your space. Take your feet mat distance or wider. Notice how Rachel has her feet all the way off your mat. For you at home, you probably have plenty of room, so take yourself as wide as you need. Let your head and neck hang heavy. I love the option to find opposite arm to opposite bicep. Maybe here's where you play around with maybe taking the hands to the nape of your neck. Inhale, come back through center. Find a bind opposite arm to opposite bicep if you haven't already for sunflowers to your right. Inhale as you rise up to the right. Exhale, take it down. Nice control, Rachel. Keep a micro bend through your knees. Use your obliques. Start to light up your side bodies here. Take three total on this side. At the bottom of your third one, switch directions. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I know some of you are super anticipating getting your sweat on, but take these few moments here just to even out. And warm up through your body at the bottom of your third one. Come back to ragdoll pose. Start to settle in. Release your hands to the mat. Heel toe your feet to hip distance or your big toes come to touch. Inhale, lift halfway. Reset your mind and your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Stay and breathe. Drop your shoulders down and away from your ears. We probably have a lot of tension right now. Spiral your pinkies inward and take your gaze wherever comfortable. Inhale. Exhale, vertical twist right. Drop your top shoulder up and back to open up through your shoulder blade. Breathe in through your collarbone. Square your hips back to the top of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, vertical twist left. Breathe. Reach your fingers wide toward opposite ends of the room. Maybe six feet wide, like the distance we're have, we have between each other at this time. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Come back up. 
Exhale, forward fold, dive out over your hips. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, step back, stay and breathe. Here's your first opportunity to start to find a sweat. Start to ignite every muscle in your body. Press the earth away from you like you did in your seated cat pose. Cat pose. I don't know why those are complicated on film, but they are. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. Take an inhale. Exhale, reverse burby. Walk your hands back to your feet. Rise up. You can find a hop at the top or take the jump out of it. Come back to the top of a plank and then take yourself back up. Right here, start to warm up full body. Rachel's got a great option to take the jump out of it. Way to work hard. I see you guys at home. This time's going to fly by together, and soon enough, we'll be back in the studios. Walk your feet out with control. Booty in line with your spine at the top of your plank. Are you starting to feel warmed up, Rachel? Oh, yeah. Don't know how many workouts you've done today, but we're going to keep them going. Three more. Make these your best two. We will meet in high plank. Do not miss this last one. This is your best one right here. Yes, Rachel. High plank in two and one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. We flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, vertical twist right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, vertical twist left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank for Spider-Man push-ups. Inhale, lower. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Drive your same knee to your same tricep. You can also drop to your knees if this is in your practice. Forgot to mention that if you want to follow along to the playlist here, it will be labeled Libby W Power Sculpt Express. Yes, you can lead with your heart space right here. Open up the space in your heart for all of these changes yet to come. Four more. You take it up to half burpees in three, two, and one. Half burpees. Go, go, go. I see you guys at home. Give yourself a high five right here. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Drive, drive, drive. Hop your feet to the outsides of your hands. Keep your booty low. Draw your belly to your spine. That's why we had some core at the beginning. Yes, you can. You have 15 seconds. I know you don't want to stop because you are made of some strong stuff right here for five. Push them out for three. High plank in two. And one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, stay and breathe. Sink the weight into your heels. Take your arms up by your ears just to try it on or activate your hands at heart center. Yes, Rachel. Sink your booty down a little bit lower. Knit your low ribs up and in. Breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, breathe. Stay committed to your lower half, just like you will the intention of your class. Draw your triceps up above your rib cage right there. Those small adjustments are what matter the most. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to mid plank. Know that you can always skip this. Take it from your knees or skip it all together, like I already just said. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg goes high. Exhale, low lunge, breathe here. Sack your front knee right over your front ankle. Press your left hamstring to the sky, the ceiling, wherever you're taking this class from. Now my challenge is to lift your hands up off the mat. Spider tip your fingers, use your core right there, you guys. Exhale, inhale, crescent lunge, breathe. Sack your shoulders directly on top of your hips. Notice how Rachel's front knee is right over her front ankle. Beautiful example in this room, and I'm sure many examples at home. Take an inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe. Open up toward the side of your mat. Again, realign your front knee right over your front ankle. Press down through the knife edge of your back foot. Extend your hands long toward opposite ends of the room. Breath out. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, breathe here. Little to no weight in your back hand. Micro bend through your back knee. Lengthen up out of both side bodies. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Let it flow. Your variation right here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg fold tie. Exhale, low lunge. Stay and breathe. Bring 15 digits to the top of your space. Press onto the ball of your back foot. Lengthen the crown of your head toward the mirror. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe. Rise up. Bend through your back knee slightly to square your hips and shoulders to the top of your space. Allow your shoulders to come down your back. Send energy up through your fingertips. Breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe. Bring your front knee right over your front ankle. Then take your front knee out towards your front pinky toe. Lift the arch of your back foot up off the mat. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stay and breathe. And sculpt, we reach, we, we reach straight up toward the sky to ensure safety in our weight. Stack joints are strong joints. Light up through your side bodies. Breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank, plank jacks. Go, go, go. Second cardio. A lot of our cardio is done from high plank today or a variation of it. But that means you have not a lot of overhead shoulder work. Yes, you can. Stack your shoulders right over your wrist, right here. Booty down in line with your spine. Pick up the pace right here. You've got this. Stay in the work right here. 15 more seconds. Can you go a little faster? The answer is always yes, you can. It's worth a try. You might prove yourself wrong for your strength for five. High plank in three, two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. How we feeling, everybody? Woo, Rachel's feeling good. How we feeling at home? Let me hear ya. My students that know me well, you know you can get a little louder. How are we feeling? Yes, you guys, take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. We will add the weights into our practice. As a reminder, no weights on halfway lift. Always bring your weights through harp center and pull, pivot, plant your weights for chaturanga. Let's get this party started. One more deep breath in as a community, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, fold, capture your weight. Inhale, chair pose with a wood chopper. Heel toe your feet out to hip distance. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Stay on your right side. Bring your weights through heart center. Rachel's got a great option to ditch her weights all together. Control the motion of the weight. Sink your booty down and back. Nice job, Rachel. You've got it. Come on, people at home. I see you working so hard, whether this is your first class or maybe you've taken them all. Dedicate every minute of this 45 minute class to you right here, your intention, come back to it. When things start to sink in and get a little tough. Yes, you can for four, three. Breathe through it, chair pose in two. And one, inhale, chair pose with a reverse fly. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze your elbows back behind you. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Important here to draw your belly to your spine to support your low back. Yes, I love all of the options for weights here. Soup cans, whatever you've got going on. Boxes of wine I've heard work really well. Maybe add a smile to your practice right here. Squeeze your elbows at the top every time. Great option to take this one arm at a time. We go back to wood choppers on our left side in three. And one, heel toe back out, inhale, lower down to the left. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Squat your booty low, use the power of your backside. Yes, I love what I'm seeing right here. Micro bend through your elbows. So good, you guys, keep your chest tall, create space on your front side body. Nice control, power up through your core. You know this is temporary right here. 15 more seconds. I know you've got it in you. Sink a little bit lower for the last eight. I'll do them with you. You're down to four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose. 
Exhale, lower down to your knees for a thruster with a bicep curl. Inhale, lower back. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. If you have any sort of knee things going on, you can take this just from your knees and take the lower and lift out of it. Allow your weights to come three-fourths of the way down, three-fourths of the way up. Nice, Rachel. She's got a great option to stay up on her toes. You can also flip to the shoelace side of your feet if you would like. Notice how her core is engaged. Such a great model student. Rachel, how you feeling? Woo -hoo. Yeah, that's a big smile right there. Hold it back in three, two, and one. Hold it back, just your arms. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. This is a true testament of your core strength, your mental strength. Be in line with your body right here. Exhale at the top. We pulse in two and one. Hold it back. Pulse at 90 with your arms. Pulse, pulse. Grip your weights right here. Feel the muscles in your arms work. Four more. Back to full range in two and one. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Yes, you can right here. Exhale every time you hit the top. I love the option to bring a towel or even double up your mat right here for your knees if you need. So much strength in this community, virtually or not. We're in it together for two and one. Inhale, press your weights at heart center. Come up to chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms with a tricep kickback. Inhale to lower. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze your weights above your hips. A game changer here. Lower your weights no lower than your hips. Try that on at home. Feel the burn in your triceps. Start to find a little bit of a shake every time you reach your way up and back. Oh, yeah, Rachel's got it going on. She's alternating between one arm at a time and double time. Three more. We run it out. <sighs> Two, sink a little bit lower. Last one. Run it out. Right and left. Draw your belly to your spine. <sighs> Tiny little exhales. Draw your shoulders down your back. Six seconds. You go back to full range. Three, two, and one. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze. You got it. You're out of chair pose after this. Stay committed right here. It's 10 seconds. That is quicker than you think, especially with me counting. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up for two squat jumps, two tuck jumps, two squat jumps, two tuck jumps. Oh, yeah. Work it out. You got it, Rachel. Looking good, girl. Woo-hoo. Squat your booty down low, you guys. I want to see booties to the floor right here. Yes. You have 15 seconds. Do not stop until the time is out. I literally have a timer staring at my face right now, so I'm not going to cheat you. Come on. Down to eight. Pick it up. Pick it up. Can you touch your knees to your hands? Four. Chair pose in three, two, one. Chair pose. Pulse it out. How are we feeling, guys? Woo! Pulse it out. Control this motion. Come back to your breath. Four, three, two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Love the option to skip it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg goes high. Exhale, low lunge for an around the world. Gra grab one of your weights. Take your weight in a circle around your front thigh. Front shin, rather. Take this slow and control. Draw your shoulders together on your back. Switch directions in two. And one, switch directions. Press your back hamstring up toward the sky. So important. Restack your joints right here. <sighs> Exhale every time. You need to let go of some of the heat. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, low lunge with a knee tap. Inhale to tap your left knee. Exhale, press your hamstring to the sky. Inhale to lower. Exhale, tap. Bring your hands off of your weights if you can. Flirt your back knee with the ground. Yes, I took that one from Kenzie. If you're doing this class, I loved it when you said that. Come on, stay in it. Is your hamstring on fire? If not, get a little deeper. Yes. Draw your shoulders on your back. Three, two, 
And one, exhale, low lunge, capture your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge with a hammer curl. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower down, exhale to lift. Heads of the weights face the ceiling. Squeeze your elbows in, but bring them two inches out in front of you. Yeah, Rachel, looking good, girl. Press your back hamstring to the sky. This will alleviate some of the weight from your front leg. Nice job, you guys. So much control all across the many rooms that we're in. We hold it low every other one in two and one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, everything lifts. Hold it low for one. Lunge and lift. Nice job, you guys. This will keep your muscles under tension just a little bit longer. Lower your weights three-fourths of the way down, three-fourths of the way up. Your muscles we're working are big muscles. They need the time under tension. Just hold it low and move your arms in two and one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Rachel's got a great option to drop down to her knee. She's done quite a, a lot of classes, so it's understandable. But I'm challenging you at home to stay up on your back foot. We have another round of full range in two. This is it. Last one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You have six reps. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You're down to four. Come on. Press through your front heel. Three, two, and one. Weights come to heart center. Lunge hops. Hop it out. Hop it out. Right here. Press your weights in at heart center. Find a little bit of space between the earth and your foot. Three, two, one. Inhale, caress your lunge. Exhale, warrior two with an overhead press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Stay low in your lower body. Bring your weight straight out to a 90 degree bend, rather your elbows. Squeeze your inner thighs together here. Light up through your inner thighs. Nice breath control here. Press the weights back behind you to make this a back exercise. Nice job, sink a little bit deeper in your lunge if it's creeping out. Add your lower body every other one in two and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Just like in your crescent lunge, stay low for a rep. You're not here as long. I know this is shoulder work. Nice control. Squeeze your back muscles all the way up to the top. Press through your front heel. Lift the arch of your back foot up. Five. Stick in the work for three. Your pulse is coming in two and one. Pulse it out right here. Pulse. Pulse, draw your belly to your spine. Don't forget about your core. Three, two, one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Get nice and big. Exhale, horse pose with a low row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, flip your palms back behind you. Knees in, or rather, <laughs> toes out, knees Heels in. There we go. Toes out, heels in. You guys, this YouTube thing, I love it, but it's really pushing us outside of our comfort zones. Well, at least me anyway. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Check yourself out. If you have a mirror in front of you, add the lower body. Inhale, lower. Exhale, everything lifts and squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Engage through your core right here, you guys. You've got this. Come on. I love what I'm seeing. You guys are doing so good, so strong. You're almost done with this side. Hold it low in two and one. Press your weights in at heart center. Lift your front heel, back heel, front and back. Yeah, there you go, front to the back. If you're listening to my playlist, I think it's probably on a great song. Yes, get a little bit lower. I'm here with you. Pop your heel up like you are going out for your best night out with your friends. Yes, you can. Four, three. Two, exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, chaturanga, pull, pivot, plant your weight. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Flip around onto your back for full sit-ups. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We'll pair this with a cardio burst of burpees i know we'll do two rounds right here yes you can 
Exhale at the top. You have 10 seconds here. We'll flip over for burpees. It's a quick transition. Flip right over like a pancake in five. Burpees coming at you in three, two, one. Burpees go. It's quick. Go, go, go. Hop your feet to your hands. Jump up and explode. Yes. Try to find a little more hang time here. Looking so strong. Oh, yeah. Rachel's got so many hops right here. Yes, you can. Can you punch a hole in the ceiling with your forehead? Yes. Well, maybe don't do that, but similar. Get close. Yeah, knock a light out. Five. Back to your sit-ups in three, two, one. Back to your sit-ups. Go, go, go. It's fast. It's a quick transition. This is your last round. Do it for yourself or maybe somebody who can't work out right now. What was your intention at the beginning of class? Yes, yes, yes. I like what I'm seeing. 15 seconds here. Use your core. Peel your back up off the mat. Take your hands out by your ears to alleviate from crunching in your neck. Five seconds. Come on. You flip over for your second round of burpees in three, two, one. Go, go, go. It's quick. 15 seconds this time. That is nothing. You can do this. Come on. Push out every single rep right here. Hop your feet up. So good, Rachel. Yes. Get a little bit higher for the last six seconds. We have a high plank hold in four, three, two. High plank hold. Hold it, hold it. Everybody get there. Yes, right there. Hold this. Do not drop to your knees. Whatever you do, yes, you can for four, three, two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Are you guys ready for side two? Woo -hoo! How about you at home? How are we feeling? Yes, that is how we're feeling. So good. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg floats high. Exhale, low lunge. Capture a weight for and around the world this side. Keep your chest toward the front of your mat squeeze your shoulder blades on your back this is really just to keep tension on your front hamstring lift your front toes off the mat switch directions <sighs> press your back hamstring to the sky onto the ball of your back foot even out the weight distribution four three two grab your weights as stilts for a knee tap inhale lower your right knee down exhale lift it up inhale to lower Exhale, lift. Right here is where the good stuff starts to happen. You guys are on to side two. Not much time for work left. Yes, you can. Put the work in now. You will see the benefits later. I promise. Give your 110% right here. How's your legs feeling? Oh, yeah, I heard that all the way to Altoona. My Altoona people. I don't know if there's any there, but maybe. I heard them. Four. <laughs> Three, two, one. Exhale, low lunge, capture your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge with a bicep curl. You okay, girl? She's not okay, but she's okay. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift my balance. If you lose your balance, get right back into it. We're all throwing a little off whack right now, but that's A okay. We adapt, we change, and we keep a positive attitude. Yes. Drive your back knee straight up and straight down like it was on a carousel at Disney World. If you were planning on going there, here's your ride right here. Add in the holding at the bottom in two and one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Stay low. Inhale, lower. Exhale, everything lift. Lower. Stay low. Lower. Squeeze up. Yes, this is where the magic happens, you guys. I know it's tough but you only have like 15 minutes left of the whole class, not of the hard work, the whole class. And if you know me, that means you get a five minute cool down. So 10 minutes left of hard work. <sighs> Hold it low, just your arms in two and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Bring your weights two inches out in front of you right here. I wanna see those biceps through the iPad. Yes, wherever you're working out right now, you've got this. It doesn't matter if you're alone or virtually doing it together with someone. Stay in the work. Three, full range for six reps in two and one. Come on, inhale lower, exhale lift. No surprises on this side. <sighs> nice control, draw your belly back into your spine. Lead with your weights, control the motion. Four, three, two, inhale, weights to heart center, hop. 
Rachel almost tricked me, but you're not getting out of these. Come on. Press your weights. In at heart center. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two with the lat pull. Alternate. Inhale to extend. Exhale, squeeze back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Drag your elbow straight back behind you. Find a pause like you were trying to put your weight. Rather, your elbows in your back pocket. Nice control, Rachel. I love the use of your breath. Yes, you can. Imagine that you're in that place where your favorite place, wherever that is. Go there right here. We add the lunge in two and one. Every other one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, stay. Inhale, everything lift. Exhale, squeeze back. Lower, hold down. Lift and squeeze. If you would like, take this to both arms at the same time. Nice, you guys. Draw your front heel toward the arch of your back foot. Squeeze your glutes on your backside body to help with the lift. So good. Four more here. You hold and pulse in three, two, and one. Pulse your elbows back behind you. Squeeze. This side goes so much faster than the first side. Come on. Squeeze in for three, two, and one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse pose. Uppercut. Right, left. Just punch it out. Right, left, right, left. Whatever song you got going on, go to the beat. Sink low in your horse pose. This is it for work on this side. Can you get a little bit lower? Yes, right there. Come on, you guys. Stay in it. Punch it out. Get your angry face on. Yeah, yeah, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, horse pose. Hop it out. Hop, hop. This is it. Hop, hop, hop. 15 seconds. I know you're going to want to run right here, but this is where you stay in the work, where you get stronger. Down to eight. <sighs> Breathe out through your mouth. Press your elbows out wide. Three, two, one. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot. Plant your weights. Renegade row. Inhale, stay. Exhale, draw your weight to your side body. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze. <sighs> I love the option to drop to your knees. If you need that option, take it. You guys are so close right here. Squeeze your elbows on your backside body. Just a little bit more work left in your practice today. Nice job, you guys. We take it up to a woman and man maker with an upright row in two and one. Renegade row each side. Pop your feet to your hands. Bicep curl to an upright row. It's a little different than a regular man maker. No over shoulder head work. Bicep curl, upright row. Keep them going. Nice job, Rachel. Hop straight back to a high plank. Squeeze your elbows in. Bicep curl, stand up, upright row. Beautiful example. Such a great student all across the room. 15 seconds. Can you get a little deeper in your squat? Squeeze your elbows back behind you. Yes, you can. That is the answer. Mountain climbers in three, two, one. Mountain climbers, go. Drive your knees into your chest. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Come on, come on. We get on our backs for our cardio core combo in 10 seconds. Come on, Rachel. Pick this up right here. You can do it the last time you have cardio in three, two, one. One, lower down, flip onto your backside. Charlie's Angels with your right leg high. Inhale to stay. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Just your right side body's moving this time. So good. Flex your feet back towards your face. I love what I'm seeing, you guys. Yes, wherever you are right now, this is where you dial in, where you commit to the next few minutes of hard work. Hold it up and pulse in three, two, and one. Hold it up and pulse. Pulse. Yes. Get your shoulder blades up off of the mat. So good. Four, four. Back to full range in three, two, one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Same side. We're still on our right side. <sighs> Promise to get the left side. Yes, you can. Right there. Squeeze it up at the top. This time we find an isometric hold in two and one isometric hold. Just hold. 
Hold it, hold it. Lift a little bit higher. Yes, it's that one inch that matters. Three, two, one. Flip it over back onto your high plank for plank jacks. One more time. Plank jacks. Out in, out in. It's 15 seconds. We go back to Charlie's Angels after this. Second side. Yes, micro bend in your elbows. Push through for four. Three, two, flip it over. Charlie's Angels with your left leg high. Charlie's Angels, inhale lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Flex your toes back towards your face. Flare your feet out wide. So good. Rachel is working up quite the sweat. And I know you guys are at home too. I'm even sweating. And it's not even a heated room right here. So good. Can you crunch a little higher? Those are questions. The answer is always yes, you guys do. A little bit more. That is the key. Three more. You hold in pulse in two and one. Pulse. Pulse. Yes. Lift a little higher. Pulse it up. You know what's coming. Your cool down is on the way. Put the work in here. Three. Back to full range. And two. One. Full range. Come on. Crunch up to the top. Squeeze your abs every time you reach the top. <laughs> a little bit more hard work coming at you. Hold it up at the top for an isometric hold in two and one isometric hold. Lift, squeeze, press the pal your palms in together. Lift two inches higher right there, you guys. Four more. Three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Flip over onto your front side body for uh, meet in high plank. There we go. Just meet in high plank. High plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just a little bit more work. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, pop up your space. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold, capture your weights. Inhale, chair pose, heel toe out for a sumo squat with a W curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. This is it. You have chair this round, second time through, and then we cool it down. Yes, you can. <sighs> Looking so strong. Nice job, you guys. Track your knees out over your ankles. Bring your elbows into your sides. Hold it low in two and one. Hold it low. Just lower lift right here. Stay in the sweet spot. Three forces away down, three fourths up. Always mindful not to swing your weights here. Sink a little bit lower. Yes, right there. Whose thighs are on fire? Woo! Three, two, one. Full range. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. 15 seconds here. We move on for a little more tricep work and then we cool it down. Come on. So good. You've put the work in. Why stop now? Three, two, one. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Flip your palms toward the sky. Pulse up. Pulse. Tricep work. Tiny little movement. Come on. You got it. Pulse a little bit higher. Draw your belly to your spine. Three. Two, one, pulse in. Pulse your elbows in toward one another. There's magnets between your elbows. Sink a little deeper. Yes, that's the work you want right there. I love the option to ditch your weight. Squeeze for four, three, two. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, you guys. We'll flow sun D one time, breath to movement. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, big stretch. Exhale, chaturanga. Or not a ranga, you guys deserve it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Nice option, Rachel. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg floats high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop to your knees, flip around onto your seats and set up for a wide-legged forward fold. So take your feet off of your mat. Rachel's a great option or a great example right here. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. 
Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, seated. Lengthen through the crown of your head toward the room or whatever is in front of you. You can play around with flexing or pointing your toes to bring a different sensation in through your backside body. We did a lot of leg work here today. Exhale. Inhale, rise up, stack your vertebrae. One at a time, bring your legs in toward one another. And then lower all the way down to your back for a supine figure four. Cross your right thigh, right foot rather, across your left thigh. You can capture what's available to you. Maybe that's the back of your leg today or keep your foot planted on the mat. And as you allow yourself to soak a little deeper into this space, take notice of all of the hard work that you put in, the challenges that you gave to your body and how you overcame them. Just like what's going on in this world, we'll get through it, we'll fight through it. And the best way to do that is with those in this community. Exhale, release, switch out your legs, left foot crosses across your left thigh. And capture the back of your thigh if that's available to you. Ensure both of your shoulder blades are on the mat. You can find a little sway from side to side if that feels good to you. And as you have these last few moments of this class, just let go of anything else that's standing in the way of your intention. Exhale, release. Bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Exhale, supine twist toward the left side. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Anchor your shoulder blades down to the mat. Notice if you're fighting the twist, just back off from it slightly to ensure you have full range of breath. Exhale, inhale, draw your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze to reset your spine. Exhale, supine twist, other side. Notice how this side might feel a little different. It might look a little different, but all of that is just fine. You can take your gaze opposite of your knees if you need a little more sensation. Exhale, inhale, draw your knees back to your chest. Give yourself one more giant squeeze. Appreciate your body, your mind, and your breath that helped you through this practice. Exhale to your Shavasana. Let your legs and arms fall out long. Let your breath return to normal and know that I will be here to guide you out in just a short little bit. When you're ready, start to invite movement, energy, joy back into your body, however that calls to you. You might wiggle your fingers, your toes, maybe open and close your jaw. And when you're ready, on your next big breath in, reach your arms up overhead for a long body stretch. Exhale, roll over to your right side for supported fetal position. Use your right bicep as a pillow and draw your knees in close. In times like these, it might be hard to find an intention or a purpose when you're so used to a routine and it's all thrown off whack. But you have the choice on how you use your energy. 
One will drain you and one will fill you up. Make the choices and the changes that fill your cup up so that pretty soon this will all be back to normal. Each and every one of you do did that today by choosing this 45 moments to work on yourself and your mental and physical well-being. Let that trickle off of your mat into those around you. Press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Your eyes can remain soft or closed. We'll take one final energizing breath in. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, draw that to your heart space. The light, the love, and the energy in me sees and honors the light and the love and the energy that flows in each of you. We honor each other by saying namaste. Thanks, guys.